basically saw, I think, at least six or seven firms slash their price mm. targets. Goldman, Daiwa, Cidic was just the latest here. Still keeping a buy or even overweight yeah. rating for the stock, but they're talking about the macro concerns now, too, for this company that might weigh in the stock, too. Well, well let's try and get behind all that. Uh, Bloomberg Intelligence CD analyst Robert Lee joins us now. Uh, uh, Robert, you know, so what are the key issues facing this company? Yes, I'm, I'm sort of tempted to say, uh, whilst most people agree there's great promise in AI, reality bites to some degree. And the reality for Baidu is majority of its revenue these days is still generated from its search engine business, its advertising-based revenue, you know, very traditional model. Um, Baidu's AI uh, activities in aggregate are loss-making at the moment. So with the downgrades you've seen on the sell side, one, they're driven by you know, increasing caution coming into Chinese corporate sector and people spending less on advertising. Two, I think, uh, realization that uh, Baidu's AI activities aren't going to break mm. even, let alone break into profit in the near term. So how quickly can they monetize then on their AI? Uh, I guess that's the $50 million question, <laughs> isn't it? Um, is that all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they would hope, uh, given what they've invested, to, to make mm. a bigger return. But... Um, since the beginning of, of this year, we've had more than 100 large language models launched in China, which I think tells you, you know, the field is getting increasingly competitive, yeah. and also that the technical barriers to entry on the software side of AI are not particularly high. So why Spidey may have some market leadership at the moment, the question really for investors is, can that be sustained in the face of competition from some, you know, some heavyweight tech firms entering the sector in China? But you know, you mentioned it's, you know, the monetization question. You know, the thing is, but who's likely to Benefits. Ernie Bot, isn't it? I don't know what it stands for. You know, who's going to benefit from the growing adoption here of uh, this uh, artificial intelligence or generative AI as well? Yeah, I, I think most people, again, AI is going to deliver huge productivity sectors across various sectors, may even transform some sectors to some degree. So for the users of AI in the long run, there are huge productivity and cost savings to come. But who's going to make money from it in the short term? I think the clear answer to that is the supplies of the, the infrastructure, the chips, whether it's NVIDIA or TSMC, uh, and those uh, server companies who are providing the basic infrastructure. Are the software companies like Baidu in the middle going to make money? Again, with more than 100 large language models launched in China, mm. I think there's a major question there. And personally, I think it's going to be very difficult for them. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Robert Lee there, uh, having a look at uh, Baidu as it out with earnings. Right, we've got a lot more to come, including a, a focus in on India as the cash market gets underway in about five, just under five minutes from now. We've got a lot on that. that and... Well, get a guess to tell us where it goes next as well. This is Bloomberg. <laughs>